Hey everybody, this is your girl Tattoo Riki here, and today we're going to be reacting to the Little Mermaid Honest Trailers from Screen Junkies. I used to love the Little Mermaid when I was a kid, so I can only imagine what they said about this film. So anyway, let's get into this and let's go. In 1989, the same year that Taylor Swift was born, the world met an even doughier-eyed girl whose songs got even more stuck in your head. The Little Mermaid. Travel under the sea to the whimsically fascist kingdom of Atlantica, where some fish are allowed to swim free, while others are forced to drag the ruling class around in their chariots, or use their own bodies as instruments. And meet Ariel, a half-naked 15-year-old and confirmed hoarder. Follow along on her literal fish out of water story as she falls in love with the human Prince Eric because he's hot. He's very handsome, isn't he? He's so beautiful. The only thing swimming in their way is the most clearly evil villain in the Disney pantheon, Ursula. The sea witch? No, she's a demon. An old witch who keeps the tortured souls of her victims in her front yard, eats seafood, and hates Ariel's whole family. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so far, a half-naked 15-year-old who's a confirmed hoarder, that part is true, because she had a lot of shit in that little cave. Yeah, she really did. I didn't see the point of all that. I just, you know, she was fascinated with the surface, but... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's hoarding. And Ursula asked, she got everybody, all these fucking sea creatures in her fucking front yard. In the cave. I used to look at me, the front yard, the fucking cave. It did look like grass, but worms touching you and shit. I would have just... <sighs> okay. That's just me, though. Lord. But none of that will stop Ariel from trading away her voice for a pair of legs and a 72-hour time limit to French a stranger. He is quite a catch, isn't he? <laughs> Get swept up in a fantastical romance where love conquers all. If by love you mean acting like a clueless mute brat so an older guy will make out with you. And enjoy the vintage Disney classic with an equally vintage message for today's young girls. Look pretty. You gotta look your best. You look wonderful. But without my voice, how can I? You don't have your looks. Surround yourself with friends who are dumber and fatter than you. Abandon your family to marry a guy you just met. And if you're not happy with the contract you signed without even reading, get your fiancé to murder the person who outsmarted you. So strap on your fins for the musical you can't help but sing along to, featuring songs like The Dumb Mermaid Song. I'm a dumb mermaid who doesn't know sh Don't know what this is or that is either. The obligatory villain song. These boring bad guy songs. So bland. So blah. But to move the plot along, the villain has to have a song. But in the soundtrack, it gets skipped. The shouldn't you ask for consent for a song? Sing with me now. Sha la 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 go for it to the fish ring set down mood for you to pork the girl. Sha la 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 why not raise his stakes to carpet match the dress. Find out and oh, pork wow. the girl. Oh <laughs> wow. The traumatize your kids song. Killing fish, killing fish. Yes, we show children this. Even though the heroes are all fish. Like if they made sushi of Nemo and Dory, you'd have something no. as messed up as these. And the one we're about to get stuck in your head. It's so catchy. It's so catchy. It's so catchy. It's so catchy. There's no escaping. These songs are amazing. And so catchy. It's so catchy. You'll never get it out your head. You'll sing to words until you are dead. Even when you sleep, it plays on repeat. It's so catchy. The message is kind of sexist. Girls don't need brain cells. Just because seashells also don't be bad. But you'll ignore that because it's catchy. Starry, Cheese Well Seashells, White Aladdin, oh. Inky Minaj, Fish, the closest thing this movie has to a black person, Jack Gandalf, and oh. Whining Nemo, The Little Waistline. 
Oh my god. This movie would have played out way differently if her top half was a fish instead. Be sure to subscribe <laughs> for more honest trailers. <laughs> Big thanks to our friends at AV Byte for their help with the music. Go subscribe and oh, tell them shit. Sebastian sent you. Wait, wait. First of all, damn. You know what? Honest trailers is awesome, but then at the same time, it's like they make you think about shit about certain movies that you didn't think of as a kid, but when you think of it as an adult, that shit makes sense. I can't even much, I can't, damn. I'm going to have to cross, this another fucking movie I can't look at the same either. Lion King, Aladdin, this, Shrek. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm still not over Shrek. He pulling the whole Uncle Ray Ray got a game on the dude at the end of the video. Um, wow. <laughs> the little waistline. <laughs> it looked pretty and have a lot of fat friends. That's fucked up. First of all, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Oh my goodness. That's why I never had no skinny friends. I'm just teasing. But <laughs> I can't. And Ariel 15 busts out the, the consent the, <laughs> the consent fucking song. To see if the carpet matches the drapes. Wow. Okay. And they call Eric White Aladdin. And <laughs> Ursula Inky Minaj. <laughs> Oh, Lord, Nicki Minaj is going to sue y'all fucking asses for that. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I can't. I'm just so over. I think I'm just done with Disney in general. That's it. I'm done with Gen Disney in general. Watch they going to come out with Pocahontas and with the Seven Door with Snow White and the Seven Doors. We know what the fuck they're going to say about Snow White and the Seven Door. But it is what it is. Anyway, so I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Also, I'll leave the original uh, link of the video in the description down below. And I will see you guys for the next video. Later.